Tuesday. Ooh, is that a person over there? Is that a vampire? It's Tuesday. Feel real? Two, two, the Tuesday. Tuesdays on the two days, the 12th and 42. What's going on? Where am I? What is that sound? You hear that sound? What is that? Why is that? Jingle jangling jing jing. Jing 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 once again, once today, we're to turn the machines and live forever. Uh, here we go. I'm alive. Made it all the way back around here to um, Tuesday. You know what they say about Tuesday? Lots of things. I've been going off about Tuesdays for months and years and maybe forever. Did I start this stuff up? I think of it before. Who knows? But I'm here. I'm alive. Do you think I would have made it this far? I kind of thought it. I thought so. I mean, I'm I'm planning on it. I have some plans. Uh, next week, so Yakuba. It's one week. One week till then. Hey, Yakuba Eve. Um, I plan, I plan, I have some plans for the future. Um, number one plan for the future is to live. Um, I don't have a whole lot of other plans. Probably do this. Come back to the studio. Go back to work. They're playing a uh, Barbie movie at Capitol Theater. Uh, we got some TV shows going on too. Just living. Going to sleep, waking up, eating pizza. What does the future hold? I got pizza today. It's a weird one. Pizza today. Is ham and onion with pomodoro sauce, not the regular sauce, and spinach and mushroom with pesto. Seems like maybe it's a cleaning the fridge out kind of day to, to, from, to me. But it is good. Make your own bread. The pizza is its own bread. Fresh baked bread. Like a Pizza place to just turn into a bakery. Well, I mean, pizza's selling enough. That you don't need a bakery, but. Yeah, pizza at the bakery. I think it's specialized ovens. But, uh, I want pizza bakery. Pizzeria next to the bakery. We got cheese on stuff. Pizza. E. Pizza E thing. Soon just eat straight up bread. I was eating a good amount of bread in the past. Why was I going to like um, the bread peddler? I was getting coffee and pastry, and I never liked it that much. But there was a time when I was going there like quite a bit. Is it because it was right across the street? I don't know why. I don't know if I even had a reason why. I don't think I ever liked it. I don't remember, but I do remember going there a lot. And then I haven't been there in years now. But why did I ever go? I have weird remember memories of going there and then eating bread. 
I would go there and for some reason eat a loaf of bread. I'd buy a loaf of bread and come here and do this. And I'd eat a loaf of bread. And I didn't have other options. When was that and why? Yeah, I explained myself. Go back and watch those old episodes. I'm just having memories of memories of the program. I don't know if I maybe I just watched myself do it. Time goes by and we're different people as it moves forward, but sometimes I go back and watch who I was in the past and the ghosts of um you know, of memories. Ghosts of memories from the past and you think what? <laughs> what was going on then? Maybe I'm doing that right now. Are you an old person? I feel old now. But you're even older. Viewers. Me. I'm going to go back and watch all these episodes. I'm going to do my own thing. Well, uh, I gotta, it's hard to yeah, watch and do. But uh, if I start two, if I watch two episodes every day. Instead of, um, and then. That's like three hours a day if I'm doing it, the new one, and then watching two other ones. I know it's a lot of time, but we got to do it. We got to catch up, viewers. The only way to catch up is to, is to put in three hours a day into this thing. And I know it's, it's hard for you to do, but I'm, I'm, I appreciate that you're putting in the, your three hours to catch up. I know it's a lot, and I don't acknowledge it enough. I appreciate your watching so much. Me, I appreciate me. Hey, I don't tell myself enough. I'm the best. I appreciate myself. Um, I'm uh, divvying out my pills here. I feel like I'm a little bit low on pills. I'm out of fiber pills right now. Mm, yeah, shit. I'm gonna go get some more of those. I got D, multi, fish, ginkgo, and C. I lost a good amount of pills. I had like the orange. I mean, it's probably it's gotta just be like right here. All right? Oh, something. What is that? Books? Cardboard? I don't know where it is. So it wasn't right under the couch, right under myself. So I didn't continue to look. It's probably right around here somewhere. Get down there. I'm gonna start digging, but I don't want to do that. I don't need to dig for things. I'm just gonna try to stay on top of it. Here's a weird ribbon. What is this? Christmas? Hey, sis. It's Christmas. It's uh, Tuesday, the 12th of September. We're almost in the middle of September already. And then October. Uh, kids are back in school. It's fall, kind of. I don't know when fall actually starts. These things get confusing. Um, the seasons, kind of like the years or your birthday, it seems like, oh, I'm old now. People, when you have a birthday, you can say, you feel old? And, uh, We all know that's not how time works, but we like to play the game of saying like, oh, here's the thing. Another year we must have aged all the year, but you're just like slowly aging, probably I guess all the time. Uh, I don't know, maybe you age more in your sleep. You're gonna do one of these, uh, taking a picture of yourself from when you're a child, but it's kind of late to start unless you're a baby. start now when your baby is born start doing the picture every day thing but you've got more things to do than just that thing and you say hey when you grow up you're gonna keep doing this I'm starting it from when you're born but when you go away baby it's your responsibility now to take it over and be the steward of your own yearly photos you're your own steward. I've been here for an hour every day, but most of the days you can't see me very well these days. 
I have to take a better picture and do the thing. Mm. Might as well start now. Because I have a whole new tape of just my face. Close up cam. Uh, bing, 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 bing. Um. Maybe pretty easy with like the photos. Oh. Um, it's Tuesday. Yesterday I was here on uh, Monday. Around the same time, around five, six o'clock. Um, James was here. It's been a while since we talked to James, but James is living. And a wildlife of uh, street, street, Seattle life, street life in Seattle. Like, I don't know if he's doing fun things or he's trying to get through it all. Like staying with other people. Doesn't have a place to call his own. I got lots of spaces, lots of things. I don't know what he's doing, though. I'm a little bit concerned, actually. <laughs> I wonder what you're doing, James. I'm going to call him again. i call him again and keep, keep tabs on him. But, uh, we are talking yesterday, but the phones were being kind of weird. We had, and then we talked to Freddy also. And some Joker who said they were my mother at one time and then they were like, why aren't you talking to me? Stuff like that. Uh, we didn't get any messages though, but maybe we're out of space. There's a big David Liebauer video I gotta delete, but I gotta save it first. And we'll try to tell Freddy about it. Fred to download it, but it failed. The download has failed, but let me get Freddy to put it on a driver and start deleting. I think we're going to run out of space. Oh, jeez. Are we even... Everything's failing. Is this thing failing? Um... Yeah, I was here doing all that stuff yesterday. Talking to... Um, I forgot now. Oh, James, Freddy, weird guy. Monday, after program, I went home to my residence to go lay my head, watching some TV. Doing some sleeping. Mm, I'm watching The Return. I got found The Return on again. Um, I've seen it lots of times. Hello! I'm re watching it. Hello! It's a very good show. Watchable, and it's in 5.1. That wasn't 5.1 before. So now I'm trying to watch it all again. You know, I've seen it. See it again. I'm also playing. Zelda 2 um, It's called The Adventures of Link um, I didn't beat it before It's been around From the 80's It's a game from the 80's and I have yet to beat it So now I'm doing it Forty years later. Yeah, I went to sleep, eating my uh, brother's leftovers for breakfast and lunch. Now I'm eating this pizza. Yeah, I came down here after my job. 
which is a home job. So, I'm sitting in one room of the, in the daytime on the computer doing work, and then at nighttime I go to the other room and watch TV and play the video game, which is essentially a computer in a way. And then come over here and do this thing. And go back. I just have many stations with screen stations. I got, well, three. At least my bed is not a screen station anymore. I remember when I was uh, two houses ago and before in the studio apartment, the, um, the TV was where the bed is. So... It was always there, um, and it's good to sleep. They call it sleep hygiene. Somebody told me about this term, which I didn't know about the term in the past. But uh, if you can't sleep, only go to bed. Only use your bed for sleeping. I fixed my brother's insomnia. He had insomnia, and then I told them to stop. To get out of bed. Almost. Um, It almost seems, well, it makes some sense, it makes doesn't, some not sense. Um, if you're trying to go to sleep, you should run around, get some exercise, and then you can sleep like a, like a, a dog or a child. You gotta exercise yourself. But, um, you're trying to sleep by lying in bed. But it's like, hey, if you want to sleep more, Lie in bed less. Well, I fall asleep quickly. Like, pretty instantaneously, but I have a lot of sleep aids. With pills. Sleeping pills. I got my day pills and my night pills. I, I should grab my night pill. I should keep some night pills on me just in case I got to crash somewhere. I'm like, oh, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta, I gotta kill six hours, and I'm somewhere weird. I'm gonna eat these pills, and then turn me, myself off, my consciousness off, and sleep through it. You can do that like on a plane or something if you plan it out right. I don't want to exist right now. I'm gonna try to become unconscious for this whole ride, and then we'll see if I make it by the time I get home and then I'll be conscious and maybe it draws on my face. Can you do that on an airplane? Kind of like a flat body? Whoever falls asleep gets uh, drawn on. Oh, my brother used to fall asleep in the car all the time, but I don't know about now. Let's call him. He's at the house. I think he's got two days off these days. <laughs> bong, bong, bong. <laughs> Automatic voice message system. Three, six, zero, four. Hmm. And up. No, it's called John Webster. I want to see if he's feeling better. I saw he was in a funk. Hello? Hello? Yeah. And it's the program. Yeah. Did you make it home? No. What? Yeah? You made it back to the house? Can you hear me? Yeah. Did you make it back to the house? Nope. No? Where are you? Right here. 
What are you doing? Uh, two's no more. No, I'm at the market and I'm gonna do everything at one time. You chopping? Yeah. We're out of eggs. I forgot to buy eggs, I was gonna buy them. Oh yeah, and butter, I wanted to tell you to get them. I forgot. You forgot you were gonna do it and then you forgot yourself? Yep. What did you buy? Food, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to make pad thai. From scratch. Yeah, you need eggs for that. Oh. I think, is there eggs in it? Let's see this. Actually, I'm not really sure oh, yeah, if there is. I'm not sure if there is. Sometimes there is, I think. Well, did you get a... Uh, 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 do you have, have any sriracha sauce? No, there's a packet. Do you have any, like, uh, off brand? No. Well, actually, I think you bought some, like, a long time ago. Is it in the fridge? I never, I never opened it. I don't know where it is. Tell me if it's in, uh, you know, at home. Is it in the fridge? I think so. It's either in the fridge or the cabinets or probably one of those two places. Got to doubt we threw it away. It's pad thai is a tamarind, fish sauce, and soy sauce. That's it? Oh, yeah. So I'm going to get some tamarind from the market. Some tamarind sauce. That's a cup, like a little bit of it, and the, then Yeah, sauce. there's fish sauce at the house. You get rice noodles? Yeah. Wow. Pad thai it must be hard then because with such little things and then it tastes good and it's hard, it must be hard. Yeah, it's probably not going to taste good. It's probably going to taste like shit because fish sauce is not good. Well, it's got to go if light. You it, if, you cook it right, if you cook it right, it doesn't taste like fish sauce, right? It tastes like, yeah. Uh, Just go easy whatever. on the fish sauce, but you need fish sauce. I have it in the fridge, and I don't have it expired, but I think it doesn't matter. Isn't it fermented? Yeah. I can't really have old fish sauce. It's supposed to be old. It smells It smells like death anyway when you smell it. I think it's okay. Yeah, it smells like pee. You need a light, little bit of death in your food. Pee and, and death. A few drops of piss, death, death piss. Yeah. That, that's what every, everything was made out of that stuff. That's what ketchup used to be. Yeah. The original ketchup death piss. Yep. Yeah, I don't know. They, have, they don't have anchovies at old school. Maybe they should. It just makes, makes things taste savory. It's like, that's what anchovies are. Also, I didn't know that for a long time. They're just flavor. It melts. They're going to other things. They melt. Yeah. Yeah, you put them in stuff. It's like fish sauce. Yeah. You actually want that flavor. I don't know. What, what is fish sauce anyway? Just, just grind up old fish? There's a... Fish sauce? Yeah. And then they stick it in a barrel. There's a dumpster zone between the studio and the pizza place and I walked by it and it's it stinks but today it like really stinks and I think there might be a body back there. Uh you think there's a body back there? Hmm? You think there's a body there? Probably. What should I do about it? Go check it out. Yeah, but then what? What would you do if you found a body? Have a baby? No, why? <laughs> I don't know. What are the police going to do about it? Can I go after high school, you said? What? 
my friend told me recently, he, I met him through high school, he said that right after he got there. Well, what are the police going to do about the body? I'm going to call the mortuary. Identify it. Identify it. Why? What's the point of that? Just when there's uh, you, they could help you out legally, you know? Being associated with the dead body? Um, if you get caught walking away from it, if someone sees you, they might wonder why you didn't call the police or something. I would probably honestly walk away from it, but, uh, you just, uh, deny those things ever happen. Just deny it. <laughs> Somebody's gonna call the police after they see a dead body, and then they're gonna be like, I saw a dead body, and then I also saw that guy not do anything about it. Uh, maybe I got the real bad. That guy's real snitch. That's like, um, uh, yeah, double, we double we snitch. It's like some uh, good, good Samaritan laws, maybe. Well, they're already dead. Oh yeah. Maybe you shouldn't film the dead body and make jokes about it. You ever seen a dead body? Yep. And I've uh, been in the wild. Yep. You have? Yeah, I found out the paper, I told you. Oh, yeah, I ask you this like once a month. <laughs> uh huh. <laughs> I mean, this is my favorite topic. I always ask you. I've, I've heard the story at least twice. Yep. Yeah. <laughs> Dead bodies at the safe way. Uh, there, is there fish sauce at the house? Yeah, but it's expired. It's made out of. It's in glass, right? How how expired is it? Was it grandma's fish sauce? Mm, no, I bought it. Yeah, how old is it? Like a year old. I cooked with it the other day and I didn't get sick. Yeah, what'd you put in it? Or put it in? I made some fried rice. You put fish sauce in it? Yeah, I made it with turkey. <laughs> turkey and fish? Turkey and fish sauce. It was it, it weird. It was, it was turkey weird? Already tasted, turkey already tastes weird. So you just gotta hide it with more weird shit. Was it good? Yeah. Could yeah. you taste the fish sauce? A little bit. Double. It tastes like... Death. Mmm, death, sweet death. Mm, you want to get on the message of the future? Nope. No? Alright, goodbye. Uh, uh, bye. Yeah, hang up. I gotta hang up, huh? and beyond uh never forget bye future yep you ever been to bed bath and beyond yep yeah what'd you buy there i don't know hey uh, future it's just the past andrew didn't want to be on the message hey future you ever been to bed Mother pepper. Fish sauce. Pizza. Tuesday. September. Bye, future. When does fall start? Like next week or something? Okay, bye. Okay, bye. Alright.
Call John Webster as well. All right, we'll clear this up. And we'll call John Webster while it's queuing. Let's see if he's out of his funk. Took the pass. Andrew didn't want to be on the message. Been to what? What? Huh? It's halfway through September. Yes, this is Catherine. Hello, this is Kenny from the TV show. Is John Webster available? Right now. Yeah, is he sleeping? Hello? Hello? Yeah, he's sleeping, yes. Oh. Is he yeah, doing? I'll let him know that you called. All right, is he doing okay? Last time I called, somebody told me he was in a funk. Yeah, he just came back, he had, he went out, and then he came, he took a nap. All right, he's doing okay, though? Oh, yeah, he's doing fine. Good, okay. Yes, tell him to call, please. Oh, I will sure do. I'll tell him to call what? you. Mm -hmm. All right, thanks. Bye-bye. Yeah, thanks. Bye -bye. Because yesterday there was somebody, I think is it, I think it might be um, I don't know if this is gaslighting, but there was somebody that sounded vaguely like you, and I kind of um, 
was not very nice to them because I thought it was you doing a bit, but then I think it was actually somebody else now. They called for a while. They called. Two days at least. They called yesterday. Somebody called yesterday, but I thought it was you doing a bit, and then I was uh, kind of messing with them a little bit. But I think it was my, it was a new person, and then they were offended. Oh shit. Was it not you, for real? Yeah, I, I haven't called you for like a couple of days. Yeah, yesterday, they, they, like, I was just like going off on whatever, and then they're like, hey, how come you're not asking me questions? They said that. Oh, well. That's what you mean, uh, Well, how are you? I'm alright. What are you it doing? Sounds like you to, it sounds like you need to call them back and apologize. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know who they were. I think they still might have been messing with me, but it was like a regular person and some other person. Mm. What are you doing? Um, meeting, um, they're called JoJo's Dark Chocolate Bites with plant-based protein, macadamia nuts, coconut, sea salt. Um, it's not very good. It's like chocolate. It's like healthy chocolate treat. It tastes like dirt. Yeah, what is plant-based protein? Made out of peas? Oh. Also, shout out to Dr. Sexy and Old School Dave in the chat. What's going on, guys? Um, what's, uh... With our fans, Kenny. Oh, hey, shout out fans to the chat. Shout out to the chat. I'm not paying attention to the chat. Hey, smash that motherfucking, uh... Hey, if you're not watching, then leave me alone. Did you did you did you hear the one when some other YouTube guy called and then was trying to do YouTube stuff? Wait, the what? It was like a month ago. Some guy called and he was like, "Hey, I, I got some ideas about YouTube. I, I saw you there, and then I was like, I'm on public access." He wants to bring public access TV to YouTube? No, I wanted to, um, I want to, uh, be public access and not YouTube, even though it's, like, on YouTube as well. Mm. Mm Mm-hmm. I'm a little bit concerned, because the public access station, our local station, actually might go under soon. That's what you told me. Wait, what, this guy brought you ideas about YouTube? What do you mean? He's just like, hey, you know how you can get subscribers? Oh, 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 oh. And then I said, I don't care about that. I don't want anybody to watch. Well, I mean, you're going to stay on YouTube, right? Uh, well, yeah, but good. But what do we? What else are we going to do though? We got to figure something out. I got to get on. Um, uh, I got to get on TV. I mean, nobody watches TV. I guess it's t- it basically is TV now. I mean, this is kind of. This is kind of becoming like the most antiquated version of TV, I guess. Well, I don't know. <laughs> you, soon YouTube is going to be the oldest thing closest to TV. Yeah, we'll just stay on YouTube and then all the other people from YouTube, they're going to move on to TikToks. Yeah, um, what is that? What's, uh, you know. what's is, is it a chocolate? Is it chewy? Is it was like it imagine if butter got like really hard. Hard butter? Yeah. Like truffle? Like like chocolate truffles? Yeah, 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 yeah. Kinda like that. But it's bad. Right. Sometimes sometimes the dirt they call it earthy. Yeah, I would say earthy. Earthy is good, but that tastes like dirt. Stuff that tastes like dirt, yeah, like, t- how about, you like beets? Beets? I love beets. No, then you like, that's, some people say that beets taste like dirt, but I like beets. Yeah, I like be- I worked at a, uh, like a decade ago, I worked at a French restaurant. Well, I guess I'm doing that again now, and, uh, we had to, um, the chef eating, like, we had, like, a uh, what was it? It was, um, steamed beets. And then we would, like, we would, uh, like, skin them, and then he wanted us to cut them into, like, perfectly sized cubes for a certain salad. Mm-hmm. And he wanted them all exactly 
exactly the same size. In Julien. The What's that? Julien. Is that what it's called? Julien, I think so. I think you're right. Um, well, make, uh, make, like, like, uh, dog food. Uh, like, just, like, nice, like, healthy, like, meat, like, mixed with veggie type of, like, nice, like, prepared dog food for his dog at home. And I didn't know if he was hiding the fact that he would do this from, like, the owners. So, uh, like, once the owner came in, he's like, oh, what you making? He's just, like, this rich dude who opened the restaurant because he was bored. Uh, and I was like, dog food. And <laughs> he's he just stared at me like what and then he got distracted by something and ignored me but that could have been a whole thing that chef could have probably been fired for that I mean he was fired shortly after anyway but well, for what um I think generally I think it was a mixture of things like I don't know if he was really good at like keeping like a kitchen organized he was just running a kitchen properly I mean he was a good chef but also I think the owners were in over their heads because they didn't know anything about running a restaurant. They just bought it because they were rich and bored. And mm-hmm. uh, they were, and once things weren't just like going well long enough, they just like fired him and blamed him for everything. And the, um, who, who replaced him? He was the head chef? Some other chef. But I helped him. He was living, like, there's one of those rich families who just like offer too much stuff to like people who work for them because they're just like, it doesn't mean as much to them. So like, had him living on their property for free and stuff. And once they, like, fired him, they were like, all right, you're fired, and you got to get out of the apartment and leave and blah, blah, blah. And I was helping the... Um, when, uh, like, the day after he was fired, and he was, like, he was so depressed. Like, he was, like, cat- <laughs> catatonic state almost. Pulling around, and he couldn't make eye contact with you. Oh, like no, was he way. French? No, he wasn't French. But um, I was so upset about it that I didn't go into work that day after helping him move. And then the next day, I was like, oh, I made a big mistake because this is my livelihood. Um, and I went to work and they fired me. <laughs> <laughs> uh, and I remember talking to my therapist about it. And he was like, you're confusing emotions with your parents divorce with this chef getting fired from this I remember my therapist was trying to make some case about that <laughs> he was like <laughs> well, do, you, do you think there's any truth to that I don't know he, he strongly believed I was conflated maybe maybe I, I don't know I don't well, um, yeah I, I was <laughs> I just ate all this pizza when I was buying pizza though I was like, this reminds me of my parents' divorce. He was like, no, actually. Never mind. I'll... It's actual. The, ther- the therapist didn't do a very good job because now you're in a um, halfway house. In the closet. No. Uh, took away his ability to be closeted homosexual because I knew for years before he knew that I knew. What? Yeah. You... My brother is gay. Oh. And I knew that he was gay for years before he told anybody. Mm-hmm. And, uh, um, I don't know if you want me sharing this. Because this is the problem with this show. I just, like, talk to you, and I forget that it's, like, a... Well, I mean, hey, my brother's not going to listen to this. Yeah, I don't, nobody uh, knows Nobody knows who you are. That's true. Um, what was I say? Oh, yeah, yeah. I was on my brother's iPad in, like, 2006, and just, like, going through apps and stuff, just messing around on it. And I saw in the camera roll... A bunch of pictures of like one of the guys from Lost with his shirt off. <laughs> yeah. And I was like, "What could explain this? I don't, I don't understand this." I mean, I watched uh, that show. 
Yeah, but did you save a p- bunch of pictures of the guys from the show with their shirts off <laughs> on your iPad? Was it Sawyer? Uh, it was a few of the guys. All right, Kyle. I'm sorry. I, I'm sharing this out of love. I love you. And I don't I just think it's a yeah. No, it's, story. it's it's fine. I think this is <laughs> this is good. But did you did you say anything? The cute story. Um. Did I say anything? Uh, no. I didn't say anything until like 10 years later when he turned to me and he was like, I'm gay. Yeah. And I said, I know that. Yeah. <laughs> I saw your iPad 10 years ago. <laughs> yeah. Uh, but I did, I did kind of out him to my dad because my dad would make a bunch of uh, gay jokes all the time. Uh. And I would look across, I would look across the room like kind of just like normal like dad type of not really like real hateful ones but still ones that made this is kind of like stupid dad jokes but um I would look across the, I would look across the room at my brother and see him like getting upset uh, uh I told my dad so he would like chill out and uh I think that was helpful actually mm-hmm. which I don't know if that's the right way to do it but I think it helped I mean, did you just say that's inappropriate, or you just tell him that you're you just out him all the way? No, I just told him that my brother's gay. Mm. His son is gay. His son is gay. You don't like gay stuff. (laughs) Your son is. (laughs) What my brother? My dad thought I was gay. He, my dad, sat me down in high school and was like, "Listen." Yeah. Uh. If you're gay, you can tell me. And I think he did that just because I was getting really into uh, of Montreal. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's pretty funny. Know. Well, hey, you know what's kind of weird, though? I mean, like, kids sound gay to me, which is fine. But, like, I think the world is just, like, progressively getting gayer. Like, it was, like, Faye or whatever they call it, Faye, you know, like the gay voice. And I think that's good, but it's happening. Like, the, like... Kids are gay, like little kids. Like you watch it on I mean, YouTube. Not, the problem is, it's not. Yeah, it's good, but it's not like we should. I think it's weird that people are like. It's so we we normalize it so much, which is good to the point where it's like we act like it's like it, one's better than the other. It should be. It should be like they're both. It's all good. No, I mean, gay is better. Bad. No, you're just you're just parroting fucking. Uh, fucking the mainstream fucking gobbledygook bullshit. Uh, it's it's good. That's enough. That's what I'm saying. Mm. It's good. It's mm. great. If you don't say it's, it's better than you're uh, racist. What's that? If you don't say it's better than you're a racist. If I don't say it's better than I'm a racist. Yeah, you know that's what I'm saying. Um, but uh, you think? the kids they're, they're more. They're, it's more, and you watch like a lot. At least on YouTube, I watch all the kids, and it seems like they're. They're more, uh, they're not concerned about being, I don't know if little kids were being tough before. Oh, I'm a little kid, oh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's in the culture, that's good. I uh, mean, yeah, it's good, but it's not, one's not, it's all, it should be all just good. It shouldn't be like, you're better if you're gay. It should be like, it's all fine. I think that's where people... Well, they just, you did that, it was for so long, it was the other way around, so you get some time to shine, and I think that, um... Like white people are worse, so uh, I think it's a similar thing. We used to say, yeah, um, let's get off. Well, that's okay. This is getting we're getting we're going down a, a political <laughs> road. Um, but uh, what'd you uh, what'd you did you work? What which place did you work at? The French place or the Bhutan place? Where did I work before that? Did you work in both places, the Bhutan place and the French place? at a uh, support center for heterosexual men. Yeah? <laughs> yeah. Uh, how'd that go? Just good. Just making sure they get the uh, support, communal, community support that they need. For heterosexual uh, white men? <laughs> yeah. Wait, where did I work before that? No, but no, just like today, did you go to the, we had the Britain place or the French place? Um... Uh, where did I, I didn't work today. Oh, yeah, day off, huh? Um, yeah. Did you tell the people at the French restaurant that you work at now 
Did you tell them that you used to work at a French restaurant as well? Did I? I did tell them that, yeah. Yeah, and this is ooh la la. That's exactly what this thing. Oh, mon jamais, hello, cordon, yo. Um, when's Hanekaba? Uh, next Tuesday. Next Tuesday? It's on the 19th. The 19th. The 19th. Tuesday, the 19th. Today's the 12th. It's on September 19th. Um, I don't know what I was doing back then. Yeah, but it's coming up. Maybe it's time to reminisce. Uh, of last year, you mean? No, I mean, uh, thir it was 13 years ago. Oh, yeah, yeah. Sorry, I got distracted for a second. Um, hmm? Cleaning a kitchen. Oh, uh, yeah, at, the, at your house? Yeah, and the housemate walked in for a second, so I, my replies got kind of... Do you have a dishwasher? Uh, we have a one that says do not use on it. Well, why not? Um... Because it's broken. <laughs> is, is it leaking? Yeah. Hey, remember when we almost got political for a second? I don't think... Do you think I have, like, bad, like, beliefs or something like that? Um, no, I, no, I don't, I'm not judging. Okay. But uh, I think you, you should, um... I think we differ in some ways, but I don't think I'm a hateful person if you think that for any reason. Uh, no, I don't think so, but I think it's, uh, you gotta say, you're supposed to say the, what I said. That's what you're supposed to say these days, otherwise you're a bigot, so... I mean, I think that's pretty black and white thinking. Yeah, but don't be. I, I mean, because, just because for I that, because I think that's a little off base. It doesn't mean that any. It doesn't mean if I vary slightly from that, then it means I'm a bigot. I just think it's a little bit more complicated than what you're suggesting. Uh, but you should just. What I'm what I'm saying. I should just fall, I should just fall in line. That's well, I'm. I'm not, I, even if you don't fall in line, you should just say it. Why don't you just say it? No. And, no. Because that. Well, because then, okay, because fine. You should say it because it's right and not because you have a reason for it besides just say it to comply. Well, eh, I mean, just sometimes say, just sometimes a little bit of complying will help you out in life. That's just a little bit of advice and we can move on from that. But I think it's better, like, I don't know why anybody, you should just, like, in some things you could just comply and then, and then I you're... Couldn't, I couldn't agree less. With complying uh, about little things is... To move forward? Little things, it's not little things. Uh, it's not little things. It's things that I have opinions about, that, and I have strong opinions on them because it seems like a pretty important subject matter. Oh uh, yeah, my opinions align with the, <laughs> with the uh, 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 cultural zeitgeist. Hmm? So my, my opinions align with the I cultural mean, zeitgeist, I and I am not a dude. I, I, don't, I don't think it's truly the cult. I think it's like what uh, maybe the, the blue check marks and stuff say that no one actually actually cares about. I don't know. You're talking about I Twitter? Know. I really don't know what the fuck I'm saying. What? You're talking about Twitter? I think it's like pretty like safe like CNN opinions, but how many, that's not like really real people. I'm a public figure. Yeah. No, you're doing your job. You're right. I don't really <laughs> know what I'm saying. I, I like. I would need to like sit down and write like a mm. an essay or something. You know, like do research. Oh yeah. I'm like a fucking fucking idiot. I wrote a book. Uh, yeah, you did. Yeah. Just, um, yeah. I'm smart. I wrote a book. I said that. Um, well, what'd you eat for breakfast? Um. Let me see, what did I eat for breakfast? I ate, uh, what did I eat for breakfast? What did I eat for breakfast? Uh, I can't, oh, I ate, um, hey, what did I eat? What did I eat for breakfast? I ate something. It was, uh, waffles. No, let me try to. Uh, um, I can't remember. Oh, well, where'd you eat it? Let's see, we'll try to jog your memory. 
Wait, I think I have bananas. More than and one? I think I had one. I haven't had a banana in oh, a I long it, time. I had it, an egg salad sandwich. Oh, the gas oh, oh yeah, from the gas station? Egg salad from the gas station? It's not as bad as you would think. It comes like sealed from like some sort of factory. You know, like plastic, like vacuum sealed. Yeah, it's not awful? Um, that was pretty good. I, I mean, don't... it's like not great, but... Yeah, was there mustard on it? No, it's like this like sweet egg and mayo on Sw a white bread. <laughs> sweet egg? It's like, it almost tastes like they put sugar in it. It's weird, sure. but it's not bad. Uh, I mean, there's eggs in, like, um, cake and stuff. Um, I think I was trying to call you, like, a social justice warrior. Mm. I, was trying, I was trying to think of how to insult, like, how to reduce what you were saying into, like, um, how to break it down into... It's like so, a, saying you're being like, it's like it's so I think social justice like, warriors are, um, is for uh, white people. It's what? It's for white people. Being well, one. It's good to be a social. If you just think of the wording, being a social justice warrior, that's pretty good. Uh, yeah, it's what's the new. The, what's, well, the what's the stereotype I'm thinking of? Like the type of people who like say extreme things. That's basically what I'm saying. People who say extreme political statements but not actually thinking about the reality behind it. Um, <laughs> and whether or not it makes sense. Woke? Um, no, I mean, I would like to forget all these words because it just kind of gets in the way of having an actual conversation about anything. Um, yeah. But I, was, but I was trying to still use those words to, like, uh, insult you or something. Uh-huh. Um... And, uh, which is not that important. Also, in this conversation is not that important, but still, I would like to go back to it. Also, I'd like to talk about my eight pound sandwich more. Yeah. Also, I, I don't. I don't have any real thoughts or opinions on anything that haven't been um, influenced by anything more than like half baked podcast listening and <laughs> reading like uh, opinions of comedians and stuff like yeah. that. Yeah. So, well, um, you know, you my know, opinions aren't really valid, or maybe my life isn't either. Straight white men held the, held the power for a long time, and they still do. So you can f anything that chance you get to disparage against any of those things is a good chance to get on top of them. That's what, what I think. What, what, what do you think about what? Um, anything that is against you know regular straight white men. I think it's not that simple. <laughs> yeah, straight white. It's easy to say for you. What's that? I said it's easier for you to say that. It's no, I'm saying it's like no, no, no. it's like when you just when we just bring conversations. Like is this the end? Like this is the end all conversation. It just all goes down to this for the rest of the time. I mean, it doesn't have to. You keep bringing it going back to it, but um, I'm not saying it's not truth to what you're saying, but I'm saying it's like. All right, like, and, and what else? Like, what, and now what? Like, what do we do? What do we, like, what now? You know what I mean? You, you feel guilt for all your years of oppression. And That's what. What do I do? What do I do? Feel bad. I'm, I feel bad. No. No, I won't feel bad. <laughs> no, because really, it doesn't make any sense for me to feel bad. I, I can feel bad for what other people did, but I'm not, like... What am, yeah, I mean, seriously. Seriously? <laughs> oh, it's getting serious. I don't know. What am I supposed to do? You should, uh, you should, you I know, you have enough. I agree that those things are wrong and not support, like, uh, horrible people. Are you there? Yeah, you have enough on your plate. Uh, you don't need to feel bad, I guess. I lost you for a second. Uh-oh, well, the, show, the show's over. Can you hear me? Hey, we had a good talk. All right. Let's not talk about this anymore and talk about exiled sandwiches. <laughs> All right. Bye. Bye. Thanks for watching.
It's Tuesday. We're on TCT, channel 22 at 11 30 and 2 a.m. Check it out. Yeah. What is to be on YouTube? 360-836-34. Call me a message again on TV. Yeah. What is to be on dot com? Check it out. Spoiler Rod is a good song. Thank you. TCT, Mila Bebe, Jordy Fabulous, Hooker Books. Four Star Video, Stop by Com, Rebecca Mountain Board, Northwest, Thurston County, Washington State, USA. Thank you, and viewers that you are watching, thank you. Hey, John, where are you? Call me. Oh, yeah, dog. Bye.